Hi, we are starting a series of three videos now on excretion, on the topic of nitrogenous excretion. That is excretion, which involves making products involving nitrogen atoms, and in particular producing urea. And that is something that our hero organ of the moment, the liver, does. We'll get onto the kidney later on in this series. This is the liver. It's a pretty homogeneous organ. It's a very large organ. It's our largest internal organ, but it's homogeneous. That means that yeah, one part of it is pretty much the same as another part of it. And actually, the result of that is it's a regenerative organ, which is pretty cool. It means you can you can chop out like over half of your liver, and it'll grow back. The the the, the rest of it will grow back. I mean, <laughs> not not so much if you like chop it out with an axe. <laughs> don't, don't don't attempt that. This is like. If a, if a surgeon removes it with, with surgical skill and precision and techniques and things that I can't do and actually you can't do to yourself anyway so don't you attempt to do this at all uh, it does mean actually you can be a live liver donor which is a remarkable thing to do a remarkable thing indeed well but today we're today we're interested in the liver's function in deamination deamination which is very similar in spelling to cartoons that stop uh, but it's not that, it's deamination, and we're, involved, we're we're interested in amino acids. I'm going to draw an amino acid here. Here we go. Uh, this is a generic diagram of an amino acid. Um, and at the top here, we've got a variable group. Variable, variable, there it is. That R group could be uh, any of 20 different R groups in amino acids involved in life. And then we've got here, we've got an amine group, and at this side here, we've got an acid group. Now, deamination, why does this have to happen? I, I just had lunch, and it was a very nice lunch. It involved, amongst other things, three eggs. So I've got a lot of protein going on in my small intestine now, and the building blocks of protein are amino acids, and as my proteases break down my protein so it's going to release a lot of amino so it's going to release a lot of amino acids those amino acids uh, we, we can't store them they're very valuable we can't store them we can't just have them sloshing about in our blood at a really high concentration actually that would be toxic so what are we going to do we don't want to waste them we don't want to just urinate them away so what we do is we do deamination we deaminate and we break the amino acid down there we break this bond here between the nitrogen and the carbon and that leaves us here with uh, what is actually strictly strictly called a keto acid which we can then convert to a carbohydrate now you can do two things to that you can respire that carbohydrate or you can uh, as you're here in the liver already you can store it as glycogen which is that lovely polymer of alpha glucose and then this and the amine end well as we make that actually we uh, convert that from this NH2 blank into NH3 that's ammonia and then that NH3 which is extremely toxic ammonia is very toxic that will kill you at a not a very high concentration we want to detoxify that detoxify de 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 you choose your own word and we make urea out of this and I'm just going to draw urea up here but can you see what it is yet oh, I shouldn't make Rolf Harris jokes really should I um, there we go okay that is urea just there and that urea is our product of deamination our ultimate product of deamination and that's going to occur in the liver over here. I'm just going to sketch that out really, really quickly. Here we go. So, lots of amino acids come in. They come in by the hepatic artery or indeed by the hepatic portal vein down there. We can't store those amino acids, so what are we going to do? We're going to convert them into a carbohydrate part and into uh, urea. Uh, that carbohydrate part we're going to respire or store as glycogen and then that urea we're going to put back into the blood uh, via the hepatic vein and that's going to go off that way and of course ultimately well it's going to go all the way around all the way around the body but ultimately it'll end up at the kidneys and that is going to be our next stop so that's going to be the next video and here's a little summary screen for those who would like it